everybody, thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, with sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel so you get these great interviews. Speaking of great interviews, before I bring on my guest, Joy Belladonna, coming up next week, I've got Angry Anderson from Rose Tattoo. I've got uh, the Petrucci uh, sisters, Roxy and Maxime, tomorrow. And then next week, I've got a band called Red Rain, I think. I'm forgetting one, but I'll edit it in. How you doing, Joey? Oh, great. How are you tonight? What's up? How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. Your hair looks great. What do you think about mine? <laughs> I like it. You like yeah, it? I like it a little bit. What do you got going on in the background? Is that like your living room? Your bath? What is that? It's the, uh, well, it's the condo. The house is being built, so I'm just in the condo now. Oh, it's nice. Beautiful. I like it. It's kind of, kind of, uh, mystic you know yeah. it's got well, well i'm bullshitting you it's not my condo <laughs> yeah, it's, I know. Okay, it's, yeah. it's my zoom my zoom background but uh yeah it's pretty cool um a few quick things um your manager actually told me that you're you're a bit clairvoyant a bit psychic is this true is what manager you're talking about um well i think it was boyd that said that is that true like, like you, you, you've got some kind of a gift for that, maybe. I'm trying to trying to clarify the the real meaning of what we're. Okay, so for instance, I'm thinking of a color right now. What color would you think it is that I'm thinking of? All right, I'll go with purple. Well, I was thinking of sort of an off purple. Oh, okay. Okay, so, anyways, ale. There's my first joke. Um, you are going to be in the studio next month uh, in November, recording again with Anthrax. How many tracks have been um, laid down without the vocals, and how many tracks are going to be on the album? You know, it's really hard for me to say until I get in there and figure out where what's finished and what's not, and what I want to sing over yet versus not sing over yet. You know, there's certain ones that may or may not be ready in some case or another. So I really can't, I can't de de definitively, definitively uh, say for sure. I, I, it, there, there'll be enough for me to sing, put it that way, <laughs> I think in, in a period of time. Is there a title um, already for the album? And, and is there a possible release date um, in and around so many weeks? Like, is it going to be released in the new year or? Well, it's going to have to be in the next year. I don't. I just don't think things will be, you know, you know, things are. You could be wrapped up today, and still the label might have a time frame that just doesn't meet when you want it. I mean, I I, I can't count how many times I think we've done records, and oh, we can't release until such and such and such is ready. You know, right. artwork, and, you know, yeah. promo, and all that crap. So what's going on right now with the journey thing it was really interesting i saw something on youtube where you got up with um <clears throat> a michael star and uh, satchel and you sang a great version of don't stop believing and i've read a few are, are you serious in the way that you'd love to do a some kind of a showcase with uh journey if they ever needed a singer or was that kind of a tongue-in-cheek comment no i'm i've i've been around those guys my wife and i we God, I've, I know Dean and I've had dinner with Neil and sound check with the crew. I mean, I'm so far into knowing the whole band and crew that I always would have loved to have done that because I just like the music. The music is really appealing to me. I love all the, the melodic. I love the musicianship. There's so much there, you know, without really, you know, outright looking for that gig you know without asking you know what i mean yeah i, lo I love the music enough you know, that's why i put beyond we put beyond frontiers together because i've always thought it would be a fun night and i like singing the music you know yeah your voice um is uh quite similar to steve perry like really if if you were to play your version and steve's from like a music a recording from a studio I, I'm telling you, a lot of uh, diehard Journey fans would have a hard time uh, um, telling the difference. Well, that's very kind of you. Uh, we do have some, we're working on some studio versions of these uh, set, the whole set, actually. And uh, it sounded pretty good. It just haven't really been mixed the, yet to where I want it, you know. So who would, who would be your musicians in that? 
if you were to say do a couple weekend shows at a casino or something? Oh no, well it's a full band called Beyond Frontiers. Yeah, that's what I mean. Who's in the band? Oh, the, uh, there's there's a it's a full band out of Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Uh, some of them have uh, a, a quite a few projects. Uh, especially uh, most of them really spawned from the Lee Greenwood band. Oh, right, uh, right. Country, and, you know, now there's a couple of them that are still with Lee. One was with the Mummies, and now he's out of the Mummies. You know, it's just a whole array, of, but they're all together. Uh, they work together. They've been playing together for quite a long time, and they're great guys and uh, just love love jamming together. And, uh, and at the same time, without going crazy, we even have another project, another tribute that we're going to be doing with that. I won't even get into specifically what it is, but it's going to be more heavier. And it's the same band, so it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Come on, come on. Release that information so I get a shout out from Blabbermouth. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, eventually I will. I want, I'm want. i working on some art. We're working on the artwork so I can have something a little bit. I was thinking about doing some teasers, you know, okay. trying to do something that uh, would be cool, you know. So. Right on, right on. So, um. Growing up, who were your influences uh, singing and, and got you to sing with your range? I know you're you're a fan of Zeppelin and Rush and, and Kansas, but if you had to nail down maybe one or two singers that maybe aren't as popular as Robert Plant, who would you name that was a good inspiration for you to to take up singing as a um, career? I can, even I pulled even three up right away would, you know, without even really kind of saying there's a list of a hundred. Uh, Lou Graham, Paul Rogers, uh, Steve Steve Wallace is one of my all time favorites. I love Kansas, you know. And again, you mentioned Rush and Led Zeppelin, or White Snake, Deep Purple. I mean, I love Ian Gillen. I'm in, you know, I'm into such good stuff. Triumph. In fact, there's a Triumph thing going to be coming out too. Something that I did. Where do you hear that too? And that's oh yeah, you know, like I've interviewed um, everybody from Triumph because they're Canadian, right? So whenever I yeah. ask this cliche question, I always get Rush. As an answer, and I'm always like, "Oh, I love Rush too," but somebody else. So I'm glad you said Triumph. So, um, did you see the documentary they released last year? I did, and I also I missed that. I, I could have been in it. I should have been in it, and I would love to have been in it. But yeah, um, there is a full record. I don't know if the guys told you about it, but it's it's being almost buttoned up. They're just probably on the last leg of putting that all together, and and I'm on that. So you're gonna you're gonna is dig it, that. Is it Rock and Roll Machine? I have no titles. I have no cover. Okay. I have no, 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 nothing with that. I just know I did a tune, and it's. I I think you're gonna dig it big time. Oh, I, I did. I didn't hear the rest of the cuts. Yeah. I just know what I did, and I know you know the people that, that played on it. So you know. Well, that's awesome. Um, couple cliche, maybe not cliche. A couple corny questions. Uh, what's your favorite vehicle to drive these days? Right now, it's probably one of those SUV kind of things because I could put all my equipment, or if you got if you got an array of animals that want to come for a ride, plenty of room. <laughs> array of animals. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, worst show you've ever done, either solo or with Anthrax, and if it's got a comedic touch, like a Spinal Tap kind of a theme, what was your what would you say your worst show has been? That's weird. I mean, worse. I mean, some sometimes it's you know when you say worse, it's just it's like really we're here. What's I mean, playing like somebody's backyard, that you know, like a birthday party of excuse me, a friend of a friend that wanted to book your cover band, you know. And I wouldn't even say it's worse because we had a blast. It's just you laugh through the whole day because you're not sure should we play now or do you want us to take a break or you know. I've had that many a times. I'm not thinking that might be like some of the lower kind of. Worse. Yeah, yeah it wasn't a, it, it wasn't a stadium tour. Oh, not at all. I mean, God, I've done plenty of those, you know. Uh I it's hard for me to think I ought to stock up on works gigs, but um, you know, there's been some things that fell apart along the ways, you know, whether you had to cancel a show because of leaky ceiling or something stupid because electrical or you know, I remember being on a motorhead tour and we came in the venue and where we both looked at it, I was supporting on Belladonna. We walked in, my wife and I, and their tour manager goes, it ain't happening. There's not enough power in this place for the two of us, you know. Yeah, you, you, you don't want an unfortunate accident like um, 
our good friend seen Great Whitehead, right? Oh yeah, well that yeah that that's that that led to many other things that should have never happened and hopefully will never happen again. Right. Yeah. Who are you listening to these days? Like do you do you have time to listen to any other music or you're so busy? No. I listen to music literally all night long. I have I have music going. I sleep with headphones and I have music going all night long. And half time I might be sleeping through a portion of it, but I have a lot going on. I have instrumental stuff, a lot of fusion instrumental stuff. I love progressive jazz, uh, you know, like uh like David Weckl and Simon Phillips and stuff like that. And I, I love, you know, like some European, you know, proggy stuff, you know, nothing in particular. But then, of course, I go back to my old school classic rock stuff that that's just right down the line of what I like. You know, I like Seal. I, I like Brian Adams. I, 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 I'm so, that's when I do the, the Joey's Jukebox thing. I have everything from Ambrosia to, like, I could do a whole night, Two two and a half hours of Steely Dan or Toto, if I wanted to, literally do my own tributes, and a, and a, any given evening, I could do more Journey with that than I do my own Journey band. You know, I have, I mean, Eagles. I could do hours of Eagles. You know, I, I love a lot of music. I don't know. I just I'm into a lot. Did you know? Did you know the Eagles is actually pronounced Eagles? Yes. <laughs> Yaggles. No, I did not. It sounds it's not right. true. You hear that. <laughs> um, so sleeping with the headphones every night, um, is the couch comfortable? That's in bed. What's that? In bed? I sleep I sleep in my bed with them on. I mean well, I literally I was wondering about your wife. Oh well she she's all bundled up her own way, you know, watching TV and stuff. She likes the TV. I like the headphones. You right. know, once we part ways with, you know, the night's almost done type of thing. You know, I don't know. I just, the music keeps me going, you know. Yeah, with Gives the me headphones, though, because I, um, sometimes I'll try to sleep um, with just different sub subliminal messages and stuff, just to relax. But I find the headphones fall out. And this is serious. Do you, do you have, like, a good pair of headphones and you don't roll over when you sleep? or? Yeah. These are uh, regular headphones, like can headphones. I mean, I've got a plenty of the buds. Okay. These full a full headphone, and they never come off. If anything, the blinders kind of flip. I have the blinders on; those kind of get loose, and and I'm now all of a sudden they're gone behind my head, and I have to pull those back down. That's the key: the blinders. Yeah, you you need a dark, right? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Favorite uh, vacation hotspot? Do you have one? Uh, probably Hawaii, I guess, would be a good place. Yeah, well, not right now, but depends on where you are. No, I mean, sadly enough, I mean, I didn't mean to bring that up. No, 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 it's okay. You were just making conversation. Hawaii's big, but yeah, Hawaii hit, was hit hard. So your your go-to spot is Hawaii for, is that where you maybe got married? Or is that just one of your first vacations? Or is just... Right, just like that. Yeah, I didn't get married there, no. But yeah, I just think it's one of those places where you can, you just feel like you've gone, gone away from everything. You're in, you're in the middle of, when you look at it on a map, like, wow, take a yeah, look at that. You are in the middle of, <laughs> you are gone from everything. You're in the middle of nowhere for sure. That's, that's a good thing. Cause then you, you just kind of put everything aside and you just relax and think Fresh about air and, um, air, listen to the water, hit the waves, you know, yeah. you know box and just do that kind of stuff yeah right uh do you have any shows coming up yeah we do uh i have we're hitting michigan next week oh wait we're about because i'm um i'm interviewing you from the border of ontario and michigan okay yeah we're we're in cadillac michigan flint yeah. michigan and then uh Ang angolia angola indiana and then the following we're in connecticut New Bedford, Connecticut. Um, you know, uh, we've got, and then we're heading to Florida in November. We're going to be down like in Cocoa Beach and Pompano Beach and um, Clearwater. Well, so in Flint, you're probably playing what, the machine shop? That's right. Yeah, that's Love. a great, great, great venue for sure. How far, uh, are, you from Flint? How far are you from Flint? 
Um, well, far enough. Yeah, see, we're not near Windsor. We're in Sault Ste. Marie, which is on the border of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, which is on the north side of Mackinac. So okay. Flint's about five hours. Yeah, that's a long, that's a long trip. But God, I love to even come up into Canada. I love to even do a whole stretch out that way with this with the journey thing. Would be awesome. That would be awesome. We'd love to have you up here. Um, we'll, keep up. You, we'll keep you much longer. When you guys are done um, releasing the new Anthrax album, uh, are you guys in negotiations for tour? Obviously, to um, push the album. Yeah, I mean, there's once once we plug into something like that. You know, when the record's about ready to go and then the touring follows, then it's, I mean, it, you're off and running like we would every year that we've ever toured. And it's a pretty excessive offerings all over, you know, mm -hmm. it's us. Um, but at the same time, you need the breaks, you know, because you got to kind of, you know, so especially if you're coming from South America back home, you got to get gear, you need time for the gear mm -hmm. to come home and you know all that kind of stuff but yes your answer the question is yes i mean the touring would it's inevitable that we would tour excessively well that'd be great we'd we'd love to see you up here in canada again for sure um what's the opposite of unsubscribe what's that what's the opposite of the word unsubscribe unsubscribe subscribe yeah. huh everybody do as Joey Belladonna says of Anthrax and subscribe to the channel for these great interviews. Um, do you have anything to say to your fans before I let you go, big guy? Well, you know what? I, I appreciate everybody's uh, loyalty across the world because uh, it's just a happy place to be with people that love music and I can supply something that they love. You know, it's a, it's a joy beyond belief, you know, it really is. That's awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time out. I'll put um, all kinds of links in the description box when I upload this interview. And um, once again, Joey, uh, and thank your assistant, Krista, for setting this up too. That's my wife. So I know. She's, she's better. She's my better half and, and much better at everything I do. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Joey. appreciate it. JoeyBelladonna.com. You, know, you can find me any, any anything you want to find out. We're, we'll try to keep it up. So thank you very much for the your time. Appreciate no that. All right. Take care, buddy. Welcome. Have a great night. You too. Bye-bye.